Welcome to Runtime Recruitment. This is Lance. Now one thing I did notice straight away when I tried to assemble this, this unit, particularly when I tried to put in, this is the, the, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. And they did supply a spacer because uh, in the video, the instructional video that they have on their website, they don't talk about the spacer. Uh, otherwise, this uh, unit sits too low at an angle, which is not good. So anyway, they provided the spacer which I put in, but they've missed. They've missed in this set of screws because they give you the, these screws. They've missed. They've missed a spacer for the SSD module, to which plugs into here, and then you have to have a screw in here. So what I'm going to do is just for now, because I don't have the screws. This is these screws are actually for the case, the acrylic case that, uh, case that I bought, and um, there's only four of them. So one of the spaces I'm going to use to secure the memory module here is, um, and you can see I've used one of their one of their spaces here. Now you've got to be careful here because if you turn it on this side, you'll be able to see that it's pretty flush and uh, there's plenty of space. So just if you are going to use a spacer like I have, don't tighten it too much because otherwise you'll bend, you'll bend this unit and uh, you'll you'll put stress on it and it's not good for the memory and the circuits, uh, the the actual tracks. So just be careful of, of not tightening this bolt too much. I'm just going to connect the power and the HDMI monitor. This is just a media card holder, and I've got a 16 gigabyte fast um, card on here it's actually a camera card and that should be okay for me to one thing I did notice though this this uh, this heatsink does get very warm it's actually very hot to the touch I think that it does require a fan on here I will actually have to invest in a fan because actually when I put my finger on it, it's actually uh, it's it's very very hot and uh, I couldn't leave my finger on there too long. Like I said, it's, it's very, very, very compact. These uh, connectors are pin compatible with Arduino. So all of this circuitry, a lot of it, is actually associated with the uh, Arduino setup. There's, there's a, a lot of things you can do with this particular board. Um, I mean, I bought it with the Wi-Fi module and the Bluetooth, so, you know, you got Bluetooth connectivity. But there's also Bluetooth built, low energy built onto this board, which is accessed by the 32 uh, megahertz Quark Query microcontroller. So in order to install an operating system, you have a choice of Windows or Ubuntu. You go to the Udo website and you go to the top section of getting started. Get started with x86, it'll take you down to this section here. You got this basically setting up the hardware and then creating a bootable flash disk or flash drive. You need a you need a thumb uh, a thumb drive, a minimum of eight gigabytes, probably more, 16 would be better. And you can basically install uh, using Windows or Linux, uh, you can actually, uh, or a Mac, you can you can create the boot boot flash drive. So what you do is you pick the one that you want. Let's say I wanted to install Windows. It will take you to this screen and then you can pick which operating system you have at home. So if it's a Windows PC, then it will show you, this video will then show you how to make a bootable flash drive on Windows. If it's a Mac, it will give you, show you this video. If it's a Linux machine, it will show you this video. So follow those instructions. There's also um, downloadable PDF instructions that you can also follow if you don't want to watch the video. So do that and you should have no problems. Then once you've got that thumb, uh, thumb drive, you stick it into one of the USB ports on the board and boot up the board by powering it up and pushing the escape key. Once you push that escape you a few times uh, the screen will pop up and there will be a boot manager and from there you can go and select that particular USB thumb drive to boot your particular operating system as simple as that.